this small spice can do wonders for your health yes this is clove so in today's video let's dive into the amazing benefits of using cloves and most important how to use this clove because we always hear this spice is very very helpful this is very very healthy but how to consume it this is the main issue so i will try to clear all the issues in this video hi my name is dr vivek and you're welcome to my youtube channel clove have been used from centuries as a spice for its flavor as well as incredible health benefits originating from indonesia cloves have found their way into the kitchen all over the world so what makes cloves so special here are some of the top health benefits of incorporating cloves in your diet. The first benefit is pain relief. Even I have been using it especially for toothache relief from my childhood given to me by my parents or my grandparents whenever I had tooth aches. And it also helps with sore gums also. How to use this? Just take the clove and hold it between teeth especially hold it on the teeth wherever you are having that pain hold it as long as you can and at last when it will be soft very soft then you can chew especially from that particular area wherever you are having that pain or inflammation and this can do magics for you if you are not comfortable with the cloves you can then use clove oil and you can just pour one or two drops in that area this can also help second benefit is upon insulin levels of our body yes clove can balance insulin levels of our body and to see its effect you can do an experiment whenever next time you will be hungry you will be having cravings just hold one clove in your mouth even don't chew just hold it in your mouth and as it becomes soft later you can chew you are going to be amazed that just one this tiny clove is going to suppress your appetite you will not be hungry this is the magic of this single spice this single small spice give it a try let me know your feedbacks in the comments down below it happened or not why i am so sure that this is going to work because i myself have tried it and i was amazed that yes it really works so you also give it a try it will be fun and interesting third benefit is on our digestion if you are suffering from gas bloating indigestion clove is at your service start using clove and this will improve the production of digestive enzymes that is going to help you in digestion and is going to reduce gas or bloating next health benefit why i'm saying next because i forgot which number was going on so next health benefit is on liver cloves can actually reduce inflammation of the liver it can improve liver function it will decrease the storage of fat in your liver if you are trying to lose weight if you are eating right you are doing exercises then clove can be a help i'm not saying just use the clove and eat whatever you want your liver will be healthy no this is not going to happen you have to follow a healthy lifestyle you have to eat on time you have to sleep on time eat good start using clove your life will change for good and how it can decrease the inflammation on the liver because cloves contain eugenol and this compound gives strong anti-inflammatory effects that's why cloves are also said to be anti-inflammatory and that's why they help you with gums also with toothache also with liver also so lots and lots of benefits of using cloves and yes cloves are full of antioxidants that will help you stay younger and full of energy and if we combine all of these properties and benefits together then for sure cloves are going to help you to improve your immunity now the main question how to use cloves first as i have told you you can just put it in your mouth just one time in a day or two time maximum not more hold it between your teeth just hold it and as it becomes very very soft at last you can chew and you can just engulf it this is the easiest way but if you are not comfortable with keeping cloves between your teeth in your mouth because it has its specific smell 
then what you can do is you can make the tea from cloves how to make the tea just take five to eight cloves crush them and put them in a glass of water boil this water for a minute and then steep it for about 10 minutes that's it your tea is ready better will be to drink it after your meal another way the third way now i remember the third way of using clove will be in your cooking it will be better to use the clove in the starting when you are cooking just heat up the pan you can add oil or you can just heat up the pan as you are comfortable add two to four cloves in it just roast the cloves you can roast them dry or you can fry them in a little bit of oil and then you can go further with your cooking why we are roasting the clove because the oil that is inside the clove this is going to come out and you are going to get that aroma and all the health benefits of the cloves so it's better to heat it a bit before using it and the last way is using cloves oil but the oils are used in very less quantity for example i've told you if you are having toothache or you can add one or two drops of the oil in your bathtub while you are taking a bath it can relax you so in this way you can use oil now let's talk about precautions if you are using clove don't overdo it i have seen people doing it they read okay cloves are healthy they start eating lots of cloves it's gonna burn your mouth if it's going to be your first time then start with half or one clove keep it in your mouth just enjoy it between your teeth don't chew don't do anything just keep it for a long period of time and at last you can chew when it's totally jelly kind of or it's very soft then you can chew it use one or two cloves see how your body reacts to it then only increase the quantity don't use a lot even if you are comfortable don't use a lot moderation is the key and yes if you are allergic to clove then for sure you are not going to use it breastfeeding mothers they can use clove one clove they can keep in their mouth nothing bad is going to happen even pregnant women can use one clove nothing bad is going to happen all the benefits you are going to get but if you are suffering from gastric ulcers then better to avoid clove tea you can just hold one clove in your mouth that's not going to give any of the adverse effect just hold it try to suck as much as you can the single pod of the clove that's it that will be enough for you thank you for watching this video up to this part i really appreciate your time and your attention to this video i hope i have answered all of your questions about clove see you next video with a big smile up to the time smile more stay happy stay healthy